Blair, live at Woodwork Audio with Dead Allies. actually <laughs> so you do it i do hey welcome to live at woodwork audio we're here with of course your two neighborhood hooligans uh dead allies and uh joining us today is none other than sammy bear hello what's up what's up <laughs> we also got dance siren dance yes. yes which is collectively partnered together for the sammy bear Brands, yeah, right? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. But Dance Siren Dance is its own, it's its own business, thing as yes. well. Yes. It's not brush over that. Right, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. I didn't screw that up at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, hell yeah. Well, as you saw, there was another member here. What's his name? Is he going by Lamont or Lamont. Mark? Yeah, Lamont. Lamont, yes. okay. Our friend Lamont is playing the guitar. Uh, You'll yes. see him in the performance videos, but he had a gig to go to. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, 
So he's, he's got his own music and everything that he's doing, too. He's gotta got to respect it. Yeah, he's got a lot going on Do for him. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> he's, got, he's got his DJ set he's going to right now, so he does that, and then he does his own rapping and stuff yeah. and his own guitar but stuff. For we're, his we're grateful but, that he can, like, intertwine that. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. He does, like, so, multiple yeah. different projects, and then he does it with Nick, too, as well. Yep. So I love it that everybody is kind of like all doing their own different things yes. and then collectively coming together. Because yeah. it shows the motivation right. and that they're like, they oh, yeah. respect it. They respect the drive. Absolutely. So, yeah. yeah. That's what made me find Lamont was his drive. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, it did a couple of things with him and that was fun. Hell yeah. Same. Shout out Lamont. Lamont, we love you. <laughs> <laughs> well, hell yeah. What were the What was the first song you guys played? today yes um we played suffocate today right and on. then after that we played our newest song bored which will be yes. at the end of the podcast yes. yeah we'll yes. be at the end of the so podcast. that'll be your future viewing for you yeah <laughs> we're trying not to break the illusion it's all <laughs> <No. scenes. laughs> we didn't just go to lunch after the performances and yeah nah. now doing this <laughs> yeah this nah. isn't two hours later no no, no. no don't look not at the at clock all. over there that you can very clearly see it happened Uh-oh. in like a snap you guys they're yeah. just not good yeah 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 those quesadillas were popping though oh yeah <laughs> so when did uh suffocate come out oh when did that come out or is, is, it, is it out, out? yes yes yeah, suffocate out. is out that came that was out when um we actually did the first uh, photo. So, side yes, yeah, so a side note. Um, another reason why we actually started working together was with my photography business, and that's also when she was like doing the whole album cover for Suffocate, and that's what we ended up doing was from one of the photos from that. Yeah. So that was okay. around like maybe 20, 2021, maybe probably twenty twenty one. Yeah, I was thinking a couple of years ago. Because we've been working now three years, according to Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. If it's Facebook official, it must be true. Yeah. yeah. We've been um, playing shows for like a little over a year now. Yep. Dope. So, right. so ex- explain to me, I know we've been talking about it, but explain the whole dynamic of you two or and like how Sammy, like the Sammy Bear brand works. Because you're not like a traditional band like us. I play guitar. He plays drums. Y'all have this whole, um, I don't know, the word I'm looking for is, uh, I'll just stick with the brand thing. You have this whole brand. Like, how does that all tie together with y'all? Well, um, say if you want to say it. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. Um, so, there's my, there's my um, songs and everything like that. Um, Lamont would be a guitar player and then partnering up with Dance Siren Dance. Um, she's going to have all of her, her dancers and everything. Uh, she wanted to, I'll let you explain that part and everything, but she is wanting to do, um, like, uh, classes and everything for, for dance and, um, her and whoever she chooses for, um, dancing and everything will learn our dances she puts together yes. the dances which are very fun by the way <laughs> and I do tiktoks with them because yes. i feel like they could be pretty trendy we and definitely would get that it just started. gives it gives our vibe like a lot more stage presence i feel like so there's like more there's more to look at on mm-hmm. stage and people are just like oh i haven't seen that before like you don't really see that often mm-hmm. that's what we get told all the time they're like yeah we don't really see that much or at least not in small towns or right? beginning artists it's normally yeah, I feel after like you're big and famous i feel like usually like with you know going like with taylor swift like she was taylor swift on her own doing her own thing and then as she got bigger then like the choreography and the dancing and all that came in right i feel like usually traditionally It would be like Sammy Bear, you would get big and then you would hire, you know, Dance Siren Dance to come and do the choreography for the performances. But Mm -hmm. y'all are actually partnered together doing it all together. But like also you have like your own separate things, but like you're working together already. Yeah. Doing small shows, you know, like the, you know, starting this beginning shows, Mm -hmm. which is really interesting. And Kaylee also helps me in a lot of more different ways. She, (laughs) she is my motivator she is Don't my partner <laughs> damn it wear makeup no <laughs> yeah she she definitely motivates me in a lot of different ways she keeps me on a schedule and she makes sure that 
we always know what's going on. Like she, yeah. I, I feel like she's my manager. Like she even like, <laughs> like, like I won't respond to people a lot of the time just because I'm busy or I'm like, I'm oh, yeah. doing something yes. and everything. So they message get, Kaylee first. Yeah. I get overwhelmed too. They I do. get super overwhelmed that I don't message, I don't message anybody back for a long time and they just get so mad at me and everything. And then Kaylee's over here like, Oh, she's good. And then she'll like literally, cause I answer her all the time because yeah. I can, I can handle like, like yeah. Katie, I can handle Kaylee, yeah. like small people when I'm doing my own thing on the day to day, like I'm working, I'm like doing all this and everything. But Kaylee will be like, oh, OK, so this person said this and I'll be like, OK, I'll ske- I'll write this down on my schedule. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so it's, oh, it's yeah. kind of funny because she really is kind of like my manager sometimes. And I guess I guess that. <laughs> Like shows to other people too because like what Sammy was saying like they'll come to me first. I'm like, why is so and so coming? Like I would literally just be like out of it. I'd be like, why is so and so? Do you know this person? Yeah, blah blah blah. Like, well they're asking us if we want. Do they know <laughs> just, they're asking me instead of you? <laughs> I'm just like I'm just like, and then I think about it, it's like well maybe they already assume because we do post it a lot on social media. They already assume that like we're already with each other every other day right. so yeah. it makes it makes sense i know um uh, nick would sometimes do that i remember back when that started and he was just like i can't get a whole family I'm like i need a dollar like what you were saying i need a dollar for every time i hear every that time, yeah. i'm just like damn it and i already viewed it God, sammy <laughs> That's i've yeah. like i've kind of done the same with him i've kind of forced him to be like dead allies manager and i've <laughs> i've kind of forced him to be like the manager for the podcast as well yeah just kind of fell into it because <laughs> i'm just like when it comes to dead allies for a little while he moved away and it was okay. just like people would hit us up for gigs and i'd be like well i mean it really comes down to like can you drive the six hours down to play this gig so i would just be like hey i'd send him a text be like hey did you see this person's reaching out for a gig can you do it and he'd be like yeah i can make that work i'm like can you respond to them and then (laughs) and then it got to a point where like (laughs) i'm just responding to everything it got to a point where like if i get a message on the dead allies instagram or any of the dead allies pages i don't look at it or and you'll I, be like, hey, or if I message. accidentally look at it, I'll be like, hey, can you go look at that message <laughs> and then respond to them and then can do all of that? <laughs> I think I think sometimes it just it just like clicks because I know there is whenever like Sammy tells me what she's going to do that day or what she told me she was going to do that day. And I'm just like, OK, I'm going to just send it to her. I'll screenshot whatever. I'll be like, OK, so let me just tell you ahead of time because it's funny we actually she'll screenshot her notes to me i'll do the same or i'll be like oh don't forget you need to write this this and this and i'll be like shit thank you <laughs> i literally will write out all everything that i have to do just to try and stay organized and oh, i'll just same. i'll write everything out like my phone i'm just gonna show you guys because it's that funny <laughs> like like all my notes are are just like to do lists. Oof, I don't know yeah, if you can dude. see this in the camera, yes. but like to do lists, and there's like thirty of them. I swear. <laughs> I love it. And I, love I will it. just write everything down. Just to, just do that, and then I'll sit. The first person, I'm just like, Kaylee, look at this. Yeah. Here's everything I have to do, and I'm just like no, trying to keep her more. on track so she just knows what I'm doing. Yes. So she can like <laughs> It well, helps. It helps. I mean, <laughs> it's funny you say that because me and my wife have a like a shared family calendar where I put like all the woodwork audio stuff I got going on. And when we we're when I first got him like to talk to people for the podcast to like because my fear was I didn't want like both of us talking to a, like a band and then like we schedule for this day and then he's like hey I scheduled a band for this day and I'm like I did too. Yeah. Uh, shit. I was like, if we have one of us that's really doing it, there's not going to have that weird overlap. Yeah. And he was, he kept hitting me up like, Hey, what, like what Saturdays can you do? What Saturdays can you do? And I was like, Hey, I, me and my wife have a shared family calendar. <laughs> I'm just going to add you to it. Yeah. <laughs> so you can just see Love when it. I have shit And then I still on. just message him like, he Hey, what are you doing on this day? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I think right. that happens. Yeah. I'll be like, or she'll be like, what doing? I'm like, work. <laughs> or like, it will be vice versa. But um, most of the time, we're always like trying to deal with the notes and everything. But I think that's also what's funny. That goes back to when you guys mentioned about me constantly messaging y'all. Yeah. Like, the dates. When is it? What's yeah. the address? That's literally how I am with Sammy. I'm Absolutely. like, okay, this, this, and this, and this. Yeah. All right, cool. I'll tell them. This, isn't it? So, yeah. Yeah. It just uh, works. For context for y'all, we were... 
we were talking about like, hey, is everything good with you know the Sammy Bear podcast? Everyone want to show up? I was like, if no one shows up, fucking Kaylee's gonna be here because <laughs> <Yeah, right. laughs> she's been texting me for the last three weeks about it. Like, oh, yeah. she's gonna be here. That's... I haven't heard from anyone else, but she will be. <laughs> Y'all got a taste. That's how I am. So oh, there you go. <laughs> Kaylee is the communicator. Oh, she yeah. was great. <laughs> I was like, I'm not worried about her showing up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not that I was worried about anyone showing up. Right. I was oh, just like, not? I'm not worried about her. <laughs> you weren't worried about anybody? Well, I mean, I'm not trying to. <laughs> <laughs> you worried about me, that's for sure. Oh, I, woke I mean, up he'll show up eventually. <laughs> <laughs> at least he shows up. I mean, that's a fact. <laughs> we were supposed to start at 10 today, and he texted me at 10 and was like, shit, I'm on the way. <laughs> My phone died. I woke up and was like, ooh, it feels late in the day. <laughs> uh, and I look at my phone and I'm like, uh, it's dead. Okay, well, I'm just going to lay here and wait for the phone to come on and find out if I need to panic. And then I'm like, oh 9.59, shit. Ah, I'm on the way. <laughs> that's like with Sammy's uh, phrase to be like, that's that's future Sammy problem. Yeah, for real. <laughs> I did good today. I woke up at 8 o'clock today. I am Hell proud, yeah. yes. I woke up at 9.20. <laughs> <laughs> and then I thought I was going to be farther away from y'all, so I was like, I got up at 7. Oh, snap. And then got everything situated, and then we were we were discussing in our group chat and all this other stuff, and yeah, I was proud that we all got here around 10, so I was like, all right. Well, <laughs> uh, the last band I was talking, uh, the last band we had on, Ego Death, they were talking about like, yeah, we're surprised we all showed up on time, and I was just like, <laughs> honestly, I had set the start time for 10 a.m., because I know I'm dealing with musicians. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, that's early, but like if they if nobody shows up till like noon, we still have time to film everything we need to film. Right. But I was like, set it kind of like set it kind of early, but not too early because it is musicians, but like 10 a.m. That still might be a little early, but like there's that room for like making up if they don't show right. up until later. Right. Right. That's I'm honestly. always that's always me though. I'll be like, Sammy. Or I'll I'll just call her when it's like when we're supposed to be driving somewhere I'll call her because I'm like I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a check a buddy check you up <laughs> I did you already know. went to the bathroom you already did your hair you did your makeup you up you dress you already took the dog's potty if Sam doesn't Are you doing it doesn't see a message or, or at least that I was online within a certain time he just calls me like I'm just making sure you're alive yeah you're on the way I did okay. that with our with the ego death podcast actually last week yep. I called him at like nine thirty. And he was like, hello. And I was like, oh, no. I was like, hey, buddy, you awake? He was like, yeah. Yeah. I was like, did I just wake you up? And he was like, yeah. No. no, yeah. no. <laughs> I usually try to play it off like, no, what? I don't sound tired. What? what are you talking about? I always think I sound so awake as soon as I wake up. You like, do not. Hello. Huh? <laughs> hello. <laughs> Like I, I said, me and Kaylee have the same brain. We do that all the yeah. time. I heard your alter you. ego, uh, future Sammy. My alter ego is Sleepy James. Like, <laughs> it's not the same person when I first wake up. Like if I'm an asshole when I wake up, I'm sorry. That's not me. That's you know? not me. That was Patricia. Right. <laughs> right. Damn it, Patricia! <laughs> My girlfriend's sleepy name is Tiffany. So okay, I love that. Every time she starts getting a little moody, I'm like, Tiffany, please. Can we Tiff. <laughs> and then she's now. like, who the hell is Tiffany? Who is that? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Just rolls over and be like, then why Then suddenly are you she's awake. Tiffany. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then she's Tiffany like, why leave me alone? He's like, Tiffany, who the fuck is Tiffany? How <laughs> <laughs> oh, good you're awake? <laughs> Just trying to wake you up. <laughs> Peacefully. Oh. And then she's like, no, who's Tiffany? Let me see. Let me see the phone. And be like, no, babe, no. Oh, fuck. It's you, but it's not. You know? <laughs> no, that's when you just scroll and find a picture of her and be like, here's Tiffany. <laughs> it's there. just a picture of me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. I never knew her. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so, another question. Um, how does... Y'all, so like you, you have a song, you write a song, do you then take like a finished song, present it to Kaylee, and then you come up with choreography, or is there like some collaboration in the songwriting process between the two of you, or is it like, do y'all get what I'm asking? Like, yeah. You, okay. Yeah, normally it's, I'll come up with like a, I'll come up with a melody or something, and then I'll, I'll just get really excited because she's my go-to person anyways, yes. and I'll just show it to her, like even, even before it's recorded, and then... Yeah. Um, I usually work with uh, producers and everything, yeah. but I'm actually going to start producing myself exactly. now. Exactly. Hell yeah. So that's Are you going to have really a producer fun. tag like mustard on a beat, ho? Something like that. <laughs> you know, you know, like it, those it little... might be like you know how we did it before, kind of how we could do like bear, bear, bear. Ooh. So we were like it might it yeah. might be like that. 
or Ooh, something. So when we me. back then before um we started upgrading a little bit more with the team. Uh, we were doing like some pre um, audios, and then like you know, like if you go to Bloodshed and you listen to the beginning, it is my voice saying L S D, and then it's in the verse. It's also saying, "Okay, goodbye, thank you." But like I was like, "Thank well, you for coming." Yeah, thank you for coming. But it's like also <laughs> we were thinking of me uh, recording my voice going bear bear bear. Yeah, I like. And then I really like it. Over it. Yes, <laughs> that creepy that be, on it. Yeah, like we're trying <laughs> to. Yeah, but honestly, yeah, she's right. <clears throat> uh, normally, like she'd be like, I was thinking of this beat, and she'll just send it to me, and because uh, I think she also knows that I like raw footage because it's like, okay, we can work with that. And then I would tell her because I'm a visual person, mm-hmm. I would be like, oh my gosh, okay, what about this, 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 like this movie? She's like, okay, and then she'll change up the melody or put some new words on it and stuff like that, and I'd be like, yes. Okay, cool. Because that's what helps me as well is the visualizing what we can do with it. And then if she's still working on like that song, then we can still work on the choreography. And what I noticed that we like to do is that we're very corresponding with each other. Like I'll ask her, I'll be like, what do you think about this step with that lyric? She'll be like, okay, well, what about we mix it with this? And it, it just, it works. So normally for your answer, I know the kitty cats. Sorry, I can hear them. Zoomies. I love it. <laughs> I love the kitty cats. <laughs> I can They're hear so them. Excited. They're like. <laughs> here's a here's an interesting question I have for you. Okay. How do you think it would change your cho- your choreography if you only got the finished product from Sammy? If you weren't involved. Yes. <laughs> I mean, um, I think that was like how we actually started. Yeah, like, that is how we started. A lot yeah. of the songs I already had done. Yeah, because like, then Kaylee came in. Yeah, because Are You Okay was already done. Suffocate was already done. Um. Gold, uh, Sunflower, uh, those were already done. So that's actually how we started out, to be honest. Mm. Um, but it does benefit now that, like, when she does come up with the ones or or songs that she does, ha- like, have already made, but she might remaster or mm-hmm. she might put a twist on it or she might feature somebody on it or something, and, like, she'll tell me that. And then yeah. she'll be like, listen. And I'll just come over there and she'll be like, press the button, and then just we're just listening to it. I'm like, okay. And then we'll work on the choreography. That's badass. Yeah. That's really interesting to me because as a drummer, I was in a metal band and they would be like writing a song and I would just be in the corner of the room like playing, you know, Flappy Bird or something on my phone. (laughs) And then they're like, okay, I think we figured out what we're going to do. And by that time, I'm like, okay, I know exactly what I'm going to play because I've been here in the evolution. Exactly. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. I, I do like that, that we work more together on that. In the beginning, we were still starting out, obviously trying to learn from each other. And then we come to find out we have the same freaking brain. <laughs> so, and that work was everything. So you guys will witness that. And whoever is around us will witness that. And we're always shocked about it. <laughs> I've also, um, I will say, I've grown a better appreciation for the choreography aspect of the Sammy Bear brand after just talking with you today yeah. and you were in one of one of the songs you were explaining like what's going on and like I'm doing this at this point because she's saying this lyric and mm-hmm. you're very involved with that and uh that being said does that now that you are working with Kaylee and y'all are doing this together and you have you know like all of your songs will have like choreography to them in a sense you know it's almost like an extra instrument it's yeah. now a part of it that mm-hmm. visual aspect of it does that change the way you're writing your lyrics or the way you're writing your songs like mm-hmm. um it doesn't necessarily change the way that i'm writing the yeah. songs and everything um but it does does it influence it it influences the music videos more than anything because then i have like a whole like as she as we're like writing the music and everything um kayla would be over there just dancing (laughs) and coming up with different stuff for it like as it's in production and so the whole time i'm thinking about what the music video can be like how i'm gonna how i can incorporate this into the music video and be really cool and like what team we can put together yes. for the music video that's why i'm super excited about board is because we actually have yes. like a, a whole choreography team oh i mean i video. see i see like your videos you put out of like the practices and stuff like that and you get like 10 people in a room and yeah. i'm just like how the hell do you get 10 people to commit to something <laughs> right. and the the fun f- and the, and everybody will see at the show on the twenty third. I had to plug that. I'm sorry. Ooh, plug it. Um, June twenty third. Y- yes, it'll be, it'll this will be happen. in July. Uh, but. Yeah. Oh, that's true. <laughs> but, you well, there, after yeah. you seen the show, then, if you were huh? there, if you were there, you better be there. If okay. you were there, you were not square. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, a lot of people 
when they do watch the music video and everything like that, they'll just see a small little cut. But when we got the notice that we were going to be performing, I was like, I looked at Sammy. I was like, I want to do more. And she's like, okay, what do you want to do? And then I was just like, I kind of want to twist it a little bit. And also, since in the, you guys seen the pictures and the girls are like kind of facing each other and whatnot. Okay. So I'm just going to give a little um, description is that, you know how like you're in front of the stage. But the mm-hmm. girls are just, like, facing each other. So I wanted to spread it outward so that we were inter, um, interacting with the audience. Mm. But then I was just like, okay, it will still keep the eeriness. We'll still keep a, a puppeteer kind of action, possessed, whatever, crazy. And instead of doing a cult, I mean, it's still an occult if you think about it. Um, but we'll twist it and make it like a, a sane asylum type thing. And so the, actually, the music video, um, I actually put some of that choreography in the stage presence one. So okay. technically, what you guys also saw today was going to be for the show, but it's not in the music video. Okay. Yeah, because I was just like, okay, Sammy, I want it, I want it, I want more. Let's put more in it. She's like, okay. <laughs> so you're telling me we got a Woodwork Audio exclusive on our hands. Yes, oh. yes. Because yeah, yeah. nobody, really yeah, nobody has seen it. We haven't recorded it like for people to see. Um, and that's why we were going to have uh, Ginger be here, but she couldn't make it, which was fine. Um, but yeah, so that's why there's a lot. Nice. Yes. So how much of the choreo- choreography do you control or have, like, I mean, I know y'all take your in- each other's inputs and stuff like yeah. that, but do, like, do you just, like, that's her thing, you leave it to her, um, and you will give input? I'll give input. Like I'll share some ideas. Yeah. If I'm, if there is something that I'm dancing with that I am just having such a hard time, like grasping, mm-hmm. and just not getting it, I'll be like, "Hey, Kaylee, do you mind if I like um, do this instead?" And then she'll normally be like, "Yeah, we can do this instead." Yeah. Like she's very like easy to work with when it comes yeah. to it, which makes it so much easier too. Because whenever I'm on stage, I just want to like focus on like music, s- music, singing, yeah. Yeah. and all of that. I don't want I don't want to be moving constantly twenty four seven. Yeah. Yes. But it is really really impressive whenever there's a dance team behind me. I think that's yes. really cool. Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 And uh, there will be that's another reason. And I remember talking with Sammy in the beginning is that I don't mind the obstacles that we have to overcome and that's the whole point of being a choreographer I've met some amazing people that don't even have limbs but they Mm -hmm. can still dance and I taught some of them Um, but my point is is that I like learning how other people learn and there's certain things that Sammy can do and that she prefers and be comfortable and that's fine and that's what's really cool is that I can see her cues and then even on stage or for example we played over at um easygoing gallery and we weren't really on a stage we were just on a floor and I remember we were in the dead center of everybody we were just standing there they're all around (laughs) us and I just remember like what I would do is like I would like tapped Sammy's like hip real quick to ease her up and like it's just those little things mm-hmm. and I'll see that in the video and um, I was just like look Sammy look see and she goes oh yeah huh. it's just like those those little things and that's why I remind her be like it's okay we got it it's okay so okay. yeah oh yeah that also well, draws a similarity to the music thing I mean that just makes me think of like if we ever or trying to figure a section out if we screw something up. I mean, we just kind of give each other a look like oh, with it's us, right yeah. here. Yes. And we're to do that. Yeah. Yes. Because yeah, we played together for cool. so long that we can, we can turn around and look at each other and just have a conversation. And because at our last gig, actually, you, I don't know what happened I, and disappeared. But I have a uh, in ear battery pack that sits in my pocket usually or hold to the edge of my pocket, and it was sitting in the wrong spot, and I kind of did something and smacked the batteries out of it. Oh, no. Right in the middle of the song. And I'm like, well, I'll just keep playing. And then I'm like, well, crap, there's a click track. I don't know if I'm on. So I just reached over and turned it off. It was just like, but so sorry, buddy. I'm, I'm singing and like playing and I, you know, I hear the backing track like fall out all of a sudden. I was like, what's going on? I finished the verse. I turned around and he was just like, and I was like, all right. And then we just continued because i mean him just going like he just pointed his ears real quick and then shook his head i was like all right something's wrong with his ears yeah so yeah he cut it off but i was like did something like we run my laptop i was like did it just die like right. what just happened but he was just like and i was like oh, okay cool and then like <laughs> we that song has like a guitar solo but i can't really play that guitar solo without the backing track so we got to that part and i was like just end it just end it right and then yeah. like we like had to like end it suddenly and yeah. like it still worked uh but it was just having that 
15 years of experience with each other, we were able to do that. Yeah. Um, but you were talking about like you're watching video. I know like as a musician, when we when we write something or we play something, once you record it and you hear it back, you're like, oh, okay, that's what that sounds like. Yeah. You're you're more detached. Even like with vocals, you record your vocal and then you hear it and you're like, okay, that's what I sound like. I need to do this better. You think you sound great, and then you listen to it and you're like, oh. I'm sorry. Yeah. Is it a similar thing with like choreography and dancing? Like when you see a video of it, like you think it looks super cool and then you like watch a video and you're like, oh. So yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Um, and fun fact, that's why there's always uh, mirrors in dance studios. But yeah. anyway, but uh, actually that's kind of what we mainly do. Like I'll be like, Sammy, record this real quick. And then um, what's funny is I, I always tell her, I was just like, okay, just, just sing that line real quick. And then she'd be like, which one? I'm like, fuck, okay. This one with this line. Okay, go. And like, she'll just sing and like, she's always the trooper with that. Like, she'll just be like, yeah, okay. She'll, she'll always be like, hey, sing, sing board. And I'll be like, which part? Yeah. And then I'll just like, do it like, out of the top of my head and she's just sitting here like, like, double to sing your, like, like, yeah. so she's like, doing it. That's, like, yeah, because like, it's in my that. head but it's like, it's like, I want to go, go, go and it's just like, just, Somebody that knows me, just just do it. Just do yeah. it for me so I can just focus. Um, but yeah, if I see something, I'll be like, Sammy, like I'll look at her, but half the time she'll be like, we're going to go again. I was like, yes. Um, yes. But yeah, it, I mean, it definitely there's a helps. there's to it with you. Because like, you're, fo- <laughs> you're focused on like seeing, because like, even today in the performances you did today, the performances you did today, there's a <laughs> lot of it where you're just, you're standing there singing and then Kaylee's doing all this stuff. I noticed like, after like y'all would finish a song, you'd be like, "That was great," and Kaylee's like, "Yeah, <laughs> that was great." <laughs> Pretty much, so, yeah. Oh yeah, my my phrase is, "I'm melting, I'm melting." <laughs> I um, mean, you're putting yeah. in the work. True MVP. Not and, that you're not, Sammy. But oh like, no, no, it's no, a no. Different oh, yeah, style. Of <laughs> um, and that's why I really wanted people to see what we can do because they, I know people have seen like the other stuff that we've have already pre-recorded, but this I was telling Sammy, it's like I want more. I want people to see that you can dance. I want yeah. I want people to see the coordination. I'm so glad that we also have Lamont because I told Lamont I was like, hey, I've already seen you dance in the street. You cannot tell me you can't yep. do shit. And like, he's like, I'm here for it. So that's awesome. That's another thing you guys are gonna see. I love yep. is that I love that that point that you that you guys all did at the end. So I asked, so originally he did that when we were just practicing. I was like, can you do that again? And like every time when we do the song, he goes, yeah. I was like. Thank you. Hell yeah. And like there's some other stuff that we added and I can't say it right now because I just yeah. want to make sure if it will be an, even work. a muscle memory that yeah. happens. So I don't want to make a promise. Yeah. But um yeah, and it it's just it's just really cool because this project I'm really excited for people to see. That's why I'm so aggressive about like, oh my god, you can't I can't wait for you guys to see Ginger, to see Lamont, to see Sammy and and that was another thing is that um Normally, if there was another dancer, so Sammy is supposed to be, like, the person, the leader, right? Mm -hmm. So, when you guys saw her do this, or, like, she's, like, walking out and everything, it's because she's walking us out. Like, she's the cult, she's the leader person. Okay. Like, she's controlling us. you're talking about the music video, that project. So, I'm actually talking about the dance. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, all of that is just the dance in itself, but I wanted to intertwine it. I wanted to show how... Sammy can move around and everything because Sammy can dance. Yeah, yeah. Let's just be serious, okay? <laughs> she can. It's just not a lot of people see that sometimes. And and, exactly, yeah. and so that's why it's okay. We will work around that. It's okay. We'll make steps that will be more of a muscle memory. So that's why I'm really excited is to see people notice. It's like Sammy does it. She can do it. It's Hell like yeah. yeah, she can. I'm excited to make TikTok videos out of everything. Yes, oh, yeah. that uh, that's also the cool element. There's a lot of like the TikTok dances and stuff like that. Yeah. Now you have that capability of making, you know, like they have those TikTok dances to like songs that someone comes up with. You can make your own. So yeah, make your that's own what, like viral TikTok dance. Yes. You sound a little bit like an old man describing. <laughs> You know how they have the video where like they dance to a song that's already made, and I hate you. <laughs> I am an old man. Leave me alone. It's how okay. Would, how would you feel? We're still if you're... on MySpace, right? Yes. <laughs> I remember MySpace. How would you feel if your dance made it to uh, Fortnite? That seems to be the top of the pinnacle right Oof. now. That so be yeah. So fun fact. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. Don't. Is it so, Fortnite a video game? It is. Yes. No. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I want to educate you. <laughs> so in 1984, they made a video game called Pong. I'm just going to leave, y'all. Y'all can have this conversation. 
So, fun fact: uh, Do you remember that uh, the Wii console and then uh, the game Just Dance coming out? Yes. yes. Okay, and how it was like DDR. thriving. Yes. Okay. I had that shit. I had a little pad on the PS2. Yes. Dance so dance the dance same dance. concept with dance that. Dance it's just now they're adding like with Fortnite I and everything it was a like shooting that. Game. It is, but you have avatars that are doing like the signature dances or like you know like when people are like, oh, I made that trick or I shot that person in the head. Yes. Doing it a little dance. Right. 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 Doing it. I so, love like, that we have to explain this. One. It's amazing. <laughs> I don't mind. It's well, the right. thing is, is I don't You're even play great. video games that much. <laughs> no, I don't. Well, I mean, it helps because I mean, I have my little brother, and he he plays. He's like, well, he's twenty one now, so I say little brother because he's little to me, um, as he's like six foot. <laughs> but <laughs> shout out, bro. Um, he actually was showing me a lot more of the games and stuff, and obviously I played more games too with my father. But uh, I actually wanted to go past Fortnite and go back to Halo. Oh. I want to do that. Yeah. And I have actually some stuff, some of that cooking, but also I did send off when Just Dance was going viral back then. I actually sent some uh, footage to them and be like, can you use me? I don't even care if you use me as one of the dancers. Just put my choreography in it. Police never went, it would never like came back. They were like, no, sorry, thank you. It was like, oh, that's fine. Well, but they cool. replied. <laughs> the oh, fact that they good. replied, I was Hell like, yeah. "What?" So yeah, that's that's funny because I've always wanted to be like uh, animation. I've told that to Sammy. I was just like, "We also need to do some voiceovers." Like, yeah, I really want to do voiceovers. I think yes. that'd be cool. Adult yeah. Swim cartoons, please. That would be fun. <laughs> I would be down with that. That'd be fun. <laughs> Us teaching Sam. <laughs> yeah, I have a Nintendo sixty four up there. Hell yeah! <laughs> <That's-> <laughs> I have a GameCube at home. Makes me happy. Yeah. Didn't you just buy a PlayStation 3? Four. <laughs> Four. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's a big step, dude. I bought it so I could play <laughs> The Last of Us 2 in Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. I bought the GameCube so I could play um, the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess game. Ooh, and nice. then I also had that old uh, Scooby Doo game yes. that I just really wanted to play. Oh, man. And it's on there. <laughs> Do you mind? I'm trying, <laughs> man. <laughs> I was really My wife just called and I hung up on her, and then she's like, sorry, I didn't know you're still at it. Mm. <laughs> try and blame it on her, too. God. Damn. Remember that time she interrupted a music video? Oh, <laughs> and he no. took a picture of it, of me in the corner the on the video. phone. Oh, yes. <laughs> he took a picture of you, Jason, yes. and me. I was thinking of when Family she interrupted first. our first okay. episode. <laughs> Absolutely. When she interrupted yes. the first episode. Oh, of uh, Javen's? Yeah, she just kept walking in I and say out. That, we I'm like, pretty you know sure what? I hung up well, my, on my mom. I, I haven't even answered my mom's phone, so we both <laughs> got... Oh my God, we both had our moms call us? Jeez. You know we both have our this moms call us. This is a public us. apology to both of their mothers and his wife. <laughs> Please don't hate us. <laughs> it's my fault. I'll Shoot, take, now we just reminded them about it in August. Now it's later. Damn it. Ignore what we just said. I remember that time you hung up on me. It's like, <laughs> yeah. Wow. We, when did us? Uh, so the last one was bored. Yes. When did that one come out? It's not out yet. Um, it is. Oh, out. it is. Uh, that one's out. Come on, man. <laughs> the, the music, music video. video. Oh, we were working on that one still. <laughs> yeah. But I'm very. That one came out more recently, maybe like a, a couple months ago. And it's, it's, that it's one. got a lot of attention, and it's. I. I mean. Knew that we could have something because there's a music video and like we posted a lot and a lot of people are invested into it, but I was not expecting it. A lot of it people have lot. reached out to me on on Reverb Nation about it. Nice. Mm. Yes. And I was just like, oh, at least Reverb Nation works. I'm like, okay, I'm say, to these people. You must be quick. doing pretty good if if you're getting anything from Reverb Nation because I've never gotten any responses. That's normally me. I was just like, I've never gotten any responses, and then one day everybody's just like, hey, I heard your song "Bored" on Reverb Nation, and I was like, what? Uh-huh. Yeah. Like. At least I know this is working. Right. And, and now they're and now they're wanting to like some of them are like reaching out. They're like, oh, I want to do a music video. Yeah, there was this person <laughs> from uh, <laughs> Mississippi. <you> <laughs> yeah, he um he was listening to my music through Reverb Nation, which is how he found how he found me, and um he was saying you should come to Mississippi and do sunflower out yep. there because there's a giant sunflower field, and I'm oh, just yeah. like you know that one might actually be really cool. Yeah. And he's like, we'll do it free of charge, and I'm just like, dope. <laughs> and then I'm, I'm over, and then she sends me the screenshots. I'm like, okay, when, where's the location? Yeah. What's the catch? I was like, as long as we can plan for it, like yes. I'm pretty down. <laughs> I'm always down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm like, hmm. 
What's that? Are we going <laughs> to die in a field of sunflowers? At least this would be a pretty place. Right. <laughs> You're not That's a, a new song. <laughs> pretty place to die. Nice. I'll make a new song like that. Yes. Didn't you, uh, I remember talking to you before and you said you had a, a video you posted on something uh, taken down because the song you put in was way too dark. It was about like suicide or something like that. Um, it? no, I think that it was, um, what, I, that, what, what I might've been talking about was, um, when I posted bloodshed. Yes. Cause so of the blood. It's just because of the title in it and huh. everything. It's ah. just, it was just because of the title. My it blood. wasn't because the song was too dark or anything, but apparently whenever you post on YouTube, they don't like it whenever you put anything with like blood or anything on it or like gore. Oh, yeah. So yeah. they'll remove that. The words Apparently. are weird. We were talking oh, about Spotify. this. We were Dude. talking about this outside, but uh, there's a flag up here that says "fuck racism," and <laughs> we've never censored any of our episodes. And uh, for some reason, we felt like we had to censor that flag. Well, because it's a visual thing, and if I the th- the fear I have is like the video being taken down. Yeah. For like seeing that in there, so I always put a little piece of paper over the U and the A. Uh, because they like censor those words and stuff like that. Like you can't say "dead" anymore. Yeah. Or, like, yeah. you can't say suicide. You have to say unalive. So, yeah. like, Forever I'm also sleep. worried. I'm also worried because our band name is Dead Allies. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, welcome to the stage. Allies. Yeah. <laughs> allies. All right. Yeah. Did, did allies. Mm. <laughs> sounds allies. like you're saying did. Okay. allies. <laughs> It sounds like a it sounds like a radio it's like do 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 allies allies coming to you. So why Sammy Bear? Like where's the? I know Sammy's your name, but like the where's the bear come in? So that was actually a childhood nickname that I. All my friends started calling me that in middle school, I think, and ever since it just like I changed that. As my as my name on uh, Facebook, so everybody just knew me as that. So you're telling me Bear isn't your last name? No. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's actually Bab, and it's actually and it's not Sammy either. Yeah, it's Ooh. not Sammy. I mean, Samantha hey, Bab. We, we don't have oh. to get too specific. Samaraque. <laughs> Samaraque. <Samir- Samir-quay. laughs> <laughs> I like that Samaraque. <laughs> Samaraque. Yeah. Um. Some people uh, would come up to me and they'd be like, "I just don't get your name and everything, like your 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 band name." And I'm just like, "Yeah, I mean, like little people is a thing, right?" And that was like a childhood nickname that he had too. So I don't know. I mean, I don't like, have a problem with it. I was just curious. Oh yeah, oh, no. yeah. I'm also curious about Dance Siren Dance because every time, I mean, isn't Siren like the whole thing about sirens, like the siren song? So yeah, um, <laughs> same same situation. So I get that a lot, <laughs> and it's fine. So <laughs> and it's fine. That makes it feel it's like it's not fine. So I get a lot. Fine. It's fine. It's fine. No, it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Um, so when originally I was talking with Sammy about that, I was like, I want an actual name that is standoutish that everybody would can catchy and everything and i was thinking of so the whole reason why it's even siren is because i feel like you know everybody has like that alter ego or or whatnot that's like kind of helps them with especially being in stage presence and everything like that um i that was one of my things with siren granted i do like to swim and i do have my tail and everything like that because I am a sailor's daughter. So I was like, okay, cool. We could just put it there. Ha ha. And fun fact, Sammy actually tattooed to that say, on me. I did that. Oh, yeah, nice. so Sammy actually did that on me. That's awesome. um, so, and now it's a brand. So I was like, nice. okay, cool. But um, so why it's Dance Siren Dance is because of like, you know, back in the day, that childhood game would be like Simon Says. Mm-hmm. Well, I was like, okay, Dance Siren Dance. And then I was just like, well, I used to do a lot of quotes that says Siren Says. Because of that whole siren song, it's like okay, now you're falling under the spell. You got to do anything that they sing about. Well, siren says you got to do this, nice. but I'll do it like a positive quote. Mm-hmm. And so I'm like, okay, now it's it's kind of like dance monkey dance, but it's okay. like siren says dance, but it's more of like what the siren brings out. The siren brings out confidence. It brings out positivity. It brings out that that person that normally doesn't really do a lot of things until like she can it or he can. Sailors to their death. Yeah. <laughs> right. right. Yeah. Like, well, you That's know, the best part, sure. right? The well, I thought I thought your whole explanation was gonna be like, well, yeah, I'm just like my siren song is my dancing. I'm luring dancers to their their sailors to their death. <laughs> so that, that's, that's a much cool deeper one. No. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> it was 
it was also just a coincidence that she killed her dad. So. Oh no! It all just <laughs> it was <done. laughs> it, it, She's actually a mermaid that was found in the ocean. Oh, it was. Wow. It's so funny because uh, my mom. People actually know her nickname as Mama Siren, and then my dad's Salty Sailor. Which we ain't getting into that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, I feel like I want to now. <laughs> my my dad's just like shh, 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 with the salt bay. Salty Sailor was like, no, Dad, no. Everybody calls my mom Mama Bear. Yes, she is nice. forever Mama Bear. Nice. Um, but uh, yeah, no, it, yeah, it's a deeper meaning. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, it's better. Yeah. It's, that's, it's better. Yeah, it's better. It's a better meaning. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, it's just that siren personality that gets you to do like the craziest yeah, shit. And it's just like, okay, let's do it. And so that's what I want to do for the business. I want to get those people that I know that have that drive and motivation and everything, no matter what you're doing, mm-hmm. um, whether you're up front man or you're backstage dealing with the equipment. I want it all. And I want to see, be like, okay, let's put that in your feet. Let's just do it. So that's that's what it basically is. If you got the siren in you, then okay, you got the siren spirit. Let's go for it. Nice. And so that's why I want to gather up a lot of sirens to like to it. do that. I like so yeah. It. Ideally, with you know with Sammy Bear and like the stage reset, the stage presence and all that, and having dancers. How many dancers would be like the like the ideal amount? I know like with some things you're gonna want like a bunch, but like. Any given, like, if you go on tour and you're playing different shows, like, how many dancers would y'all ideally want with you? Honestly, it just depends. Well, for me, I always, when it comes to the choreography, I always try to visualize the stage. So even before coming here, I mentioned to Sammy, I said, well, which song are we going to do? And she's like, okay, let's do Bored. And the stuff, okay, I was like, okay. And then she was like, do you want to do the whole thing? I was like, well, I got to see first. I, I, I got to see how, how, the, how I can move around, obviously. There's a lot of room. So I'm like, yeah. yes, I'm nice. able to do everything. Um, but that's what I do. So honestly, it just depends on which stage we go to. So if we go to really big stages, then I would love to have at least eight people with us. Okay. That'd be yeah. That's a smaller number than I expected. Depending on how big the, the stage is and everything. Yeah. But if it's something like downtown music hall or anything, I think that four would be yeah. pretty ideal. Yeah, four. And I already like have four a few. Four to eight would be like the ideal yeah area of dancers and we always well and then well i was thinking yeah so if it's it's like it's like say a festival or something like i would think eight for for the starter and then if it's like say for example you know downtown music halls type of stage then i would do definitely four and luckily i do have a few girls that are in the mind of like trying to do that but we're going to do that for the next projects coming up so yeah so you'll be seeing that oh yeah oh yeah so when it comes (laughs) to the music side of it um you have, you've, ever since I've seen you live, you've always had a guitar player that's usually running your tracks and playing guitar for you. Mm. Have you ever wanted to expand more? Like, have, like, more, like, on the music side of it? Maybe have, like, a live drummer, a live bass player, or, a, you know, like, a DJ to do that, and then, like, the guitar player separate? Um, I haven't thought too, too much of it. The one, the one time that I have thought about it was obviously talking with you guys about it. Um I, th- I was thinking that when we get more, um, like the more shows that we play and the more gigs yeah. and everything that we get, I did want to incorporate like a more um, live sound as well. Um, I was thinking about adding drums to future tracks. Yes. So, yes. so that way, instead of like adding it and like kind of like doing like a remix ver- or not remix, but remastered version mm-hmm. of the ones that we already have, but um since I have more control over my music and everything like that, I can definitely experiment with more sounds. We were going to try and have two guitar players, yes. one that do like lead and then another one that would do uh, rhythm. So that's an also another, mm-hmm. another thing that we can do as well. It just depends on who is um, down and who is confident and wants who's to... Who's consistent. Who's consistent, yeah. That's, that's more the word and motivated. Mm-hmm. Um, so it is... I do look for that motivation and that drive and the consistency yeah. in the people that um, I have um, interviewed for those types of positions and such. And that's how we got Lamont. That is how we got Lamont. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. I get it. I get trying to find the consistent people. I mean, there's a reason Dead Allies is still only two people. <laughs> <laughs> we've had we've had ton of people offer to play with us and stuff like that. And I'm just like, yeah, you you see us, you see our music video, and you're like, oh, I want to be a part of that. But like, you weren't a you weren't there for the year that we recorded that first album, right? right. Yeah. yeah, you weren't there for the long like tracking sessions and like the figuring things out. You're seeing the finished product and be like, oh, I want to be on that now. Yeah. 
But I do it too, you know. I do it too. <laughs> I'm like, dude, if only I could just join a famous band and then that's it. <laughs> then that's yeah. all she wrote. I'm good. But you know, it's never going to happen. Unless. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you looking at me? I'll the tell way them they my best. Look. Thought something was gonna happen. I don't know. <laughs> Unless, and then the, the, the way they, the, door. Yeah. the way that y'all looked reminds me of how what we do. It's just that we just look at each other for a second. We're just like, all right, are we gonna say this? You gotta say this. Do we just thought the same thing? Okay, cool. I, Moving I do. On. <laughs> I was telling y'all earlier, but I'll say it for the people at home now. I, it, I have found it funny that like all day when like we're not the four of us or five when Lamont was here, but when we're not interacting. The two of y'all are like off over there talking like, you know, we could we could be doing this. Y'all are talking about like the <laughs> videos y'all shot today, yeah. like how to promote them, how to put them out, what you could do with them. You're always talking business. <laughs> and it's the same thing that me and James are doing. Like when yeah. y'all would like go out and like do something else. I'm talking to him like, hey, I had this idea for a video. We could do this. And like, but for some reason, it feels like we spend all of our time talking about like, how did you see that video of that guy like fall off a ledge? Like, it's hilarious. <laughs> That's our inst- like our messenger conversation. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime we're together, we're just ideas. Like, oh, the next yep. podcast yeah. is this. We're doing that. You know, we could do different lighting. Because, I mean, like, the video aspect of these podcasts are definitely new to us. The audio, yeah. I got that. But we're making the, all the video stuff. We're making that up, like, every session. <laughs> Which is why the last episode is looking a little different than this one. <laughs> Forgot to film some things. Oh, <laughs> that was but, not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not. But, no. <laughs> so I know as far as like the Sammy Bear brand and the Dance Siren Dance brand, you'll have a bunch of different aspects to that. I know with Sammy Bear, you have your OnlyFans account. I think you have an OnlyFans yes. too, right? Yes. Um, is that also under Dance Siren Dance, or is that a different name? It's a different name. Okay. Yeah. Because I know with Sammy Bear, your OnlyFans is Sammy Bear, and yeah. your band is Sammy Bear. Has there been any sort of, like, overlap with those? Like, people that are, like, they look up Sammy Bear, and they find your music, and they're like, what the hell is this? Or they're like... Honestly, the only overlap that I have with that is where the money is going. So... Basically, everything that I get from OnlyFans, I will, like, deposit directly into music. Okay. Like, yeah. I have used that to... I used a lot of that money to, like, get my MacBook. Like, I used... Yeah. I used a lot of that to, like, just get a mixer. <laughs> like... <laughs> I like the James directly. I was like, is he going to say something? <laughs> and... Just a whole, bu- just basically like getting a whole bunch of equipment yeah, and yeah. everything. And I do look at it more as like a business type of thing. And I've actually yes. been kind of falling off of it. Okay. Um, but I do like, um, I try and keep up with it for a little, yeah. for the most part. But um, I don't put exert all of my energy into it anymore. Mm-hmm. Is because I really, I've really been focusing on like the music the stuff. Music side. Yeah. But. It has been so helpful in so many ways. But as yes. for people that like uh, come up to me in person and everything like that, I'm not, yeah, I'm not like too like worried about what people are going to say or, mm-hmm. um, or be. I look at it almost as like a form of support mm-hmm. in my eyes. I got you. Like even if it's in a different type of way, mm-hmm. because um, it's very straight to the point, and it's very like this is what this is for, and mm-hmm. they'll be like, I support it, and like everything like that. Yeah. It's very, it's been a very positive experience. It That's really good. has. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah has it sh- like helped with your confidence? I mean, I feel like that confidence to be able to post, you know, the risque moment, like the risque aspects mm-hmm. on OnlyFans. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out my job. Is I want to see you. <laughs> um, I feel like being like the confidence to put that online, even though there's like a paywall with it, it would help with confidence on stage in front of people. Has that translated at all? Like with you personally or that um, was never an issue? Confidence. Yeah, it has in ways. It's honestly made me more open to a lot of different things, to be honest. It's given me an, an, a whole new perspective. Um, <laughs> With confidence. Um, other than that, I don't think it has affected it too, too much. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like that's something you'd have to have a good amount of confidence for anyways. To do, yeah. I, yeah, yeah, that's fair. Eventually, I'll be starting mine. We'll have a band. There you go. There you go. There you go. 
I'm not confident <laughs> enough taking my shirt off. So. Show your feet. Feet finder is another thing. Yeah, okay. Sam got a little preview. That, well, well, no, gave the fans a got a little yeah, preview. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, you, if you guys watched our uh, TikToks live. <laughs> two months ago at this point. That'll explain why yes. there's a sudden dip in, 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 in views and everything. <laughs> Everyone's like, ugh. There's man feet. Or it could have been like, man, where's the link? God damn it. Right? I don't, that was too them. quick. Come back. <laughs> Extended edition coming soon. <laughs> Full Fifty um, bucks extra. <laughs> where, uh, where can people find y'all? Where should people look for y'all? The Sammy Bear brand and the Dance Siren Dance brand. Whatever you want to plug. Honestly, all social media is for Dance Siren Dance, and it's dance dot siren dot dance. All social media: S A M M I E space B E A R E. Yeah. And uh, all social media, since I'm old, that's Instagram, Instagram TikTok, Facebook. Yes. Yeah. Twitter. YouTube, Twitter and Twitter. YouTube, yes. YouTube, I Spotify. forgot Twitter existed. <laughs> I, I distribute through uh, DistroKid. Hell yeah. So. Shout out DistroKid. We still want that sponsor. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> this episode is soon to be brought to you by DistroKid. Future episodes. Possibly. Maybe. Manifesting. If anybody cares. <laughs> yeah, manifesting. Yeah, dude. Yeah. That's been a thing in our previous episodes. Hell oh, yeah. and also TikTok. Same names. Yes. yes. Yeah. Cool. Perfect. Jeez. We gotta throw the TikTok Again. out there. <laughs> gotta TikTok. Throw TikTok. Have yes. you seen TikToks? Now, so what they do is like <laughs> mansplaining <anything>. TikTok. <laughs> I mean, I sent him a TikTok the other day, and the response was, "You did not just send me a TikTok video." <laughs> oh my god! It was like a link to TikTok, and I was like, "I don't have the app. You don't make me do this. I'm trying to not give in. Damn it." We you do know. have a Dead Allies one. We you have do. I tagged you guys in the. I actually tagged you guys That's in the cool. lab. There's nothing oh, nice. on there. <laughs> now we got to do stuff on there. <laughs> Not <Dang. My> bad. <laughs> You're welcome. Appreciate it. I need to do. And when, yeah, and when you guys actually go into your settings, um, you'll see where it says the word balance, and it's actually a wallet. And um, originally, you get like a one coin <laughs> for Ooh. actually creating, but um, when you go live and everything like that. You get paid. Oh, nice. oh. So, yeah. <laughs> so, just letting you nice. know, you get paid to do that. So, yeah, go future, on TikTok. Yeah, get on that. Future live episode. We're already just, using just my phone know. to film a lot of these. There you go. <laughs> you yeah. need to get a phone that doesn't, that works. You Don't can, break the fourth wall. <laughs> you can even, you can even uh, post your, yeah, your podcast on there. There's like a lot yeah. of people that post their podcast. Yeah. And they're like, hey, if you want the full f- uh, feature and everything, go on the YouTube. Well, or like, they'll, they'll use that to direct them to the other place. You're hired. Platforms. <laughs> you're, the, you're the new marketing manager. You're hired. Okay, we all need just, social media managers. Too. I mean, <laughs> honestly. Honestly. <laughs> just let me know. <laughs> be like, Kaylee, what do you do this? And be like, okay, so first you go, and then also what I love to do is I like to screenshot each section. So you'd be like, okay, it looks like this. It looks like this. Perfect. Thank you. Like, no problem. I honestly had an idea for a video for our Dead Allies TikTok was a video of like us being like I don't know what this is I don't know how to do this and then my friend being like I know somebody and then like having her eight year old daughter showing us how to use it <laughs> oh no <laughs> her eight year old daughter <laughs> posts all the time oh wow and like just like me and him just like yeah okay uh huh <laughs> right cool <laughs> I was like, that'd be a funny video. My, that would be super funny. <laughs> my idea, but I don't know if it belongs on the Dead Allies page, is just uh, is just two guys walking down the street and someone goes, dude, that guy, that guy over there is unhinged. And you, the camera turns and it's just a door walking down the street. Oh, unhinged. God. Not a- Such a dad joke. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I mean, I am Sammy Bear roasting James. Ouch. Yeah. I love it, but I mean, yes, you know. we is, is he is he is the door like? Can do, the door go like? It's just walking yeah, exactly. down the street. <laughs> exactly, you got the visual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's how I work. That's no, why I was just no like instant have, visuals. We have all sorts of dumb ideas. Well, yeah. let me know so yeah. that way we can get it going. Hell yeah, dude! We'll get something going. And the problem is, is neither one of us ever say no to the other's idea. I love that. <laughs> so that's literally yeah. yeah that's usually really it's like, <laughs> yeah. There's a video where like he said that video and I was like, let's go buy a fucking door. Yeah, <laughs> they're do not that it. expensive. They're like thirty bucks, I think, for a door or something like that. There's I mean, a video. I'm gonna touch one of my doors for a second. Honestly, and you can get like a green screen, like with a green like um, overhead oh, that's cloak way thing, too much. and then just like hold it. Oh, but it's easy to do that. Is it? I don't do video. TikTok I do yeah. it makes it easy. So yeah, TikTok actually there's a green screen thing. So but well, what you can go, it. you can go on Amazon or Party City, get the whole suit, yeah. and it's just that skin tight thing of green, yep. and you get this. <laughs> 
Yeah. No. Nobody wants to see me in a skin tight suit. Well, they won't. They'll just see your face. <laughs> Which is even better. And then they'll just like, you'll just see the, the door moving, but it's actually you moving it. <laughs> but in the editing, you're going to laugh your oh, ass yeah. off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then they'll be like, oh, let's see the behind the scenes. You're like, fuck. <laughs> no. We'll blur out what we need to blur out. Just edit know? more. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be fine. But yeah, I no, wear, it's really easy. I wear black clothes because it hides my belly. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> Felt. <laughs> Felt. That was too real. <laughs> too real, dude. Sammy, you've dude. been very quiet. Do you have anything you'd like to say? Oh, putting me on the spot. Yeah, on like the that. spot. <laughs> What should I talk about? I don't know. What, we're uh, we're what, coming up on time, so... What do you hate? What Ooh, do I hate? That's a good yeah. one. Let's go around and share let's, things we let's hate. Let's continue this. So yeah, like, let's make know. it a thing. Okay. Hate is a strong word. Ooh, yes. We well, like, I'll give you an example. The last one I used in the last podcast was, I hate waiting in line. Okay. I hate so, traffic. But he really? said, he said I, hate I hate lines. I hate waiting, yeah. <laughs> And I'm like, you hate just like lines in general, just a straight line. So like, <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> a, if you hated lines, you wouldn't be very good at being a tattoo artist or anything. Right? You'd be oh, like, yeah. actually, I love Screw line this work. line. I hate this show much I right now. <laughs> I love line work, honestly. Yes. Yeah, it is but pretty. But you don't like lines. I don't like waiting in lines. Interesting. So Sammy doesn't like patience. <laughs> Yeah, that's what, when I told my wife, that's what I said. She was like, yeah, you're not a very patient person. And I was like, wow, this turned into an attack. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> well, you yeah, know. No, it's because she likes, so she likes to get, I hate get traffic, going. I traffic, so that yeah. is kind of like a form of waiting. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But she's a more With active person. Because yeah. hmm. you like to get things going. I hate it when everything in the day will, like, try and stop you from doing what you're doing in the oh, day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. for Ooh. sure. So that's a good one. That's a good hate word. There you Other go. than hate, I don't really hate a yeah. lot of stuff, I guess. Okay. I hate yeah. when... I hate hate. There you go. Ooh, <laughs> well, I, I, hate, I hate that. <laughs> I hate when the server brings us the food, and then uh, a few moments later, I'm like, oh, I need I need this sauce. And then she comes back, like, everything right, good? Forever for them to come back? Well, she comes back, and she's like, everything good here? And you're like, yeah, great, perfect. And she walks away, and you're like, I forgot to ask for the sauce. <laughs> And then you don't see her until you're almost done, and you're like, well, now I don't want to ask for the sauce, but this would have been better with the sauce. Mm. Or if you actually waited, and then by the time you got done, it was already then cold. it's cold, and it's like, well, it's not. <laughs> and everybody's already done eating, right. you're like, son of a bitch. I'm waiting for this fucking sauce. <laughs> what about you? Like, What's something you hate? Oh, well, shoot. Just traffic. I know, it's an on-the-spot question. I huh? know, but it's oh. so fun. It, it is, is fun. fun. It is a fun question. Um, it's It'll just, yeah, same. I'm not head. a hateful person. I mean, Kaylee uh, is like the epitome of just positivity. I know. It's like disgusting. she will. For- <laughs> <laughs> Kaylee hates negativity. That's, yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She will I shove love that. positivity down your throat and she will, will make you up. like it. <laughs> That's how she is. You will take this positivity with a fucking smile. <laughs> So you hate negativity. Yeah. I yeah, because it's it's just that thing that like really draws you to not be motivated, to I not want to do stuff true. and overthink and all this other crap and I'm just like, I ain't got time for that. Yep. Ooh, I, I, I thought, thought of something that. that I that I hate. Time. <laughs> feeling feeling like you're in a stagnant place in your life. Ooh. That's yes. something that I hate. Ooh, I didn't know we were going Therapy. to church today. Oh yes. shit. <laughs> yes. Yeah, dude. Therapy. Yeah, you gotta <laughs> fucking make change, man. Yes. Sheesh. I hate that sometimes we don't have enough time in the day because of the things and like we get too Absolutely. tired or we over or we Bruh. sleep and we're just like but we have all this stuff. And like this is me and Sammy, we'll like sit, we'll talk, we're like, Okay, who who replied first? Who what are we gonna do? We gotta go do this and then it's like, Fuck, I'm tired and like yep. she'll be in her bed and I'll be like, I'm tired too and we're like, Fuck, we gotta get shit done. That's so why I make my time. lists. Exactly. Yeah. That helps me out of yeah. that. Yeah. That stagnant feeling yep this episode is brought to you by lists lists we love them check out lists.com uh, <laughs> i don't know if that's i don't know what that's gonna take you to <laughs> Probably don't, don't, do that. That. <laughs> don't do that it's porn <laughs> <laughs> lists Ooh, yeah uh, uh, that's not sponsored by us <laughs> yes. no at all <laughs> sorry there's uh, no only fans of lists <laughs> I'm going to go home and make sure nobody's bought that website. <laughs> I'm going to buy it myself. You just buy it now. It's to like straight to the podcast. <laughs> I mean. That's a cool genius. decoy. <laughs> a list of lists, if you will. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Make that an app. 
make that a freaking app and get money off of that because people are like man i don't i need to write even though they have the notes app and like man i just need to write shit down i think oh yeah oh i thought you're saying like a list of lists where you can like look at other people's lists no i was just out there you go you went way deep social media then you can (laughs) share your lists with the public you just start checking things off of someone else's list there you go so this is how i'm staying organized (laughs) today how about you Uh, (laughs) oh that just feels like a lot of pressure it's like oh wow sammy's doing a lot of things i haven't done anything oh my gosh that's probably what you can see like actively when she finishes something you're like fuck i'm gonna laugh if somebody actually puts that in a comment on y'all's youtube page once they actually saw all of her shit and they'll be like fuck what am i doing today oh well i ate comments (laughs) oh no (laughs) yeah Yeah, not all of them are good. Yeah, 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 not all of them are good. Some of them are you're just like, what? (laughs) What? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um. All right. So one last question before we before we wrap it up and go into the last song, which is broken. Broken. Correct. Do y'all have Uh, board? Board Board, (laughs) broke. I was like, I looked at James. I was like, Oh, Something are you guys a doing a song that's called Bo- Broken? We, are. we do have a we song are. called Broken, but yeah, okay. no, my bad. It's called Plug Bored. your shit in, man. Um, <laughs> uh, one last thing: Do y'all have any fun stage stories, or just like concert situation? Something that happened at a concert <laughs> that's just a funny story. It doesn't have to be something that happened on stage, but I have one of Lamont, and he knows what I'm thinking about right now. <laughs> I know what you're thinking about, I and think. I'm just gonna leave it at that. He's not here to talk about it. So, <laughs> love you, buddy. Um, now I'm I, gonna ask him. <laughs> I'll share. I'll share one for me, and then y'all can share one. Mm-hmm. I uh, we played a show at Downtown Music Hall, and we're up there playing. And I look down, and I see this girl like standing straight front stage, staring at us. While we're playing, actively watching us. And I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. Someone's up here. Then cut to later, after we've performed, I'm standing at our merch table. This girl walks up to me, and she starts asking about the music and about us and all that stuff. And I was just like, yeah. And then she was like, I didn't get a chance to catch y'all play. And I was like, what? (laughs) I was like, I stared at you while you were down there. And then she started talking about how she, uh, she astral projects. And how uh, Jimmy huh. Hen- she, uh, was communicating with Jimi Hendrix, and Jimi Hendrix really likes our music. Oh, okay. So while she was up there, it wasn't her. Jimi Hendrix was watching us perform. So Jimi Hendrix loves us, buddy. Are you sure that wasn't my coworker? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> the one that cries about being enlightened and how hard it is. And, uh, anyways. But uh, I just wanted to say all that to say uh, Jimi Hendrix watched us, and he loved us, so you should, too. Shout out, Jimi Hendrix. Oh, wow. Thank- wow, I wasn't expecting the golf clap. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what we're clapping for. <laughs> I don't either. Jimmy Hendrix. Shout out Jimmy Hendrix. Astro Do y'all have, any, do y'all have <laughs> anything? Um, what do you one? want to talk about? <laughs> I mean, y'all can both share one. Well, I mean, it's the same. Okay, which one are we going to talk about? <laughs> um, this is us. Sorry. Which one are we <laughs> thinking? They're one think person. I, I don't think I have anything that tops yours. Oh, it doesn't because that, that, that one's fun funny. It was, more, it was more like, um, are we going to talk about um, Easy Going Gallery? Or we can talk Easy about... Easygoing Gallery is the first one that comes to mind. Exactly. So, so then let's go with that one. So, um... <laughs> this one's more just, like, uh... I guess more... It was kind of frustrating. Because or, there were yeah, so many people it. there. It was a rap show. Yeah. Um, there was a DJ playing all everybody's rap music and everything. So it was really hard so because... Like one guy you were just giving your stuff to? Yeah. Okay. And there wasn't a schedule. So people were just going up there just to go. And we or had like, like... talking on like that group chat that you barely even pay... Nobody pays attention to. Right. And they're like, we'll give it to this person. Okay, we'll give it to this person. We're just like, okay, what are we doing? Like, it, it was just so... Like, the communication... We almost left before we played because we okay. were just like... It was so hard to, like, understand when we were going to go on, like, yeah. what, what we were doing. And I was like... I like they probably won't even notice if we just kind of like dip out. And that's what's yeah. like they that won't even notice sad. at all. Yeah. yeah, that's what was really sad, and we didn't even get to see the actual owner of the venue until like way later. And what was what what was crazy is like, granted, I mean, yeah, it's at a it's at a hip hop place, you know, like everybody's gonna be hyped up and there's gonna be alcohol, whatever. And all so I just rem- oh they gosh. were so hyped, but all I just remember is like alcohol getting splattered. Some of it got on me, and so I'm just like, okay, I need to go tell Sammy. LSD and let them know saying hey okay 
we need to get our equipment and then move it because that's Sammy's laptop, yeah. the guitar, everything. Yeah, I was more, <laughs> I was focused on watching because there was so much going on. I was just focused on watching our equipment because yeah. our equipment is kind of pricey. So yeah. every hour or whatever, we would constantly go back and forth, putting the equipment inside her car or taking out because we kept getting told, okay, you're going to go on now. Oh, so y'all were okay, doing we'll have like, now. a song oh. and then someone else would come up and do a song and then y'all would do a song later? Oh, no, no, no. It was just us trying to actually start. Oh, yeah. we, we couldn't was, figure out when we were going to start. So you put your stuff away thinking whenever we're going to start, we'll start and we'll take our stuff and out. And we did that yeah. like five times. And yeah. we had to, in and out, we in had and to out. stop the DJ set and like ruin everybody's vibe just so we could like, uh, uh, plug in the we, guitar could, and, we could plug in the guitar. Yeah. We had to plug in my laptop because I had the backing tracks on there and everything. And I was just yeah. like, I was like, you just don't understand. Like I need, I need yeah. a second to just like plug in. He kept, he's, like, he's like, no, just put it in there. Just plug it in. And you're like. No, and then trying to deal with everybody, and then again, yeah, we didn't even see the vin- the we owner. F- we finally got to start, and we were in the middle of everybody. There wasn't a stage or anything. Yeah, yeah. and it's which wild. was that was it was wild. Yeah, but everybody loved it. Yeah, everybody I, I, that was there was super hype. It's, hyped. A, it's awesome. an interesting. The word is interesting. It was an interesting experience. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that word. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah. it kind of, it also is a good learning experience because it showed us what we can still accomplish on bare minimum. Yeah. The difference yeah. between rap shows versus, versus like rock shows yeah. and e- versus EDM shows are all, yeah. there's just all such different vibes. Which is interesting because y'all could fit into all three of those yeah. categories. Right. In a yeah, way. we yeah. can. And, and yeah, that's the best, that's the best part. I do enjoy the vibes of, um, rap shows like once we start playing because everybody is so hype that you just feel you feel so much more confident and everything yeah. rock shows yeah. is actually a lot more intimidating people seem because... more reserved and they they might not show that they like it even yeah if they love it. yeah but they do love it i love their like, hypeness though yeah if, if, if i'm not seeing nobody head banging or jumping when we're on the stage it's like okay i'm gonna start it first and then, like, I, I look at Sammy and then just, like, going for it. And that's what I love with that's the rock the thing, venues. I love it so fucking much. That's the thing. I personally love rap and hip-hop. Yeah. And, but that's the thing about the shows is, like, it's more of a vibe where anyone can just sort of catch a vibe and enjoy it all night. Yeah. Whereas the rock thing is, is almost a little more rewarding because it's, like, if you're not into it, at, at least enough to be, like, moving around and shit, yeah. then you're just not that into it. And if you're really into it, you're really fucking into it. Yeah, it's exactly. It's really cool to see the different reactions. And but. and that's yeah, yeah and that's that's one of the things that I told Sammy. Is I, I, that's another cool thing. So we got actually told when we were featuring with in a Screamo, uh, like, set and everything, because it was, like, us, and then it was, like, another... Was it wasn't it with you guys actually? Wasn't it you guys that opened and then us and then another group or was that the hip hop? The one we played with y'all or one of the ones we played with y'all was it was us then it was eight five zero Millie. That okay, yeah, the hip hop. Okay, so Nick I'm too. thinking of the other one. So the other one was uh, the headliners was uh, Blood of Lilith. Oh, okay. so oh, huge right, metal yeah. screamo women band empowering. I loved it and like the fact that they were still vibing with us yeah. when ours was just like. Ours was like way up there. I love, <laughs> it was just like, I love all the difference in personalities yes. that we yeah. see up on each different type of stage and yeah. everything. It really just like it changes your whole perspective of like, wow, people like people like specifically just like this rap group and and people like spe- or like rap venues and everything. And then more people will just specifically like specifically <laughs> specifically <laughs> like um, just going to like downtown music hall yeah. and just listening to rock or whatever. Yeah. Right. And then there's just like. There are the certain venues and everything. Like Downtown Music Hall is definitely one of them, to where oh, they I have like downtown. a wide variety. Oh yeah, yeah. Of like just stuff happening all yeah, the time. Yeah, like rap. Like you'll have hip hop. Hip hop. Yeah. Like, Crazy Town just came through. Yeah, dude. R.I.P. Crazy Town. Let's not talk about Crazy that. Crazy Town. <laughs> Uh, is that a new venue? Butterfly? No, I'm oh, saying Crazy oh, Town came through about downtown. The band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I they saw came that. through Downtown Music Hall. Yes. I was like, what the hell? Butterfly. Yes. Okay, because at, at first, and yeah, bro I, job is playing there. <laughs> yeah, damn, Which, yeah. I fucking missed that. But yeah, no, and and that's that's, and then we also got the phrase saying that they don't see the dancing with the music. That's like. Mm-hmm opening up for a screamo band yeah <laughs> like yeah. They, they don't see that and that's what i, I was looking at him i was like <laughs> that means we're doing good it, it also brings a sense of professionalism like for me part of having the tracks was yeah it sounds better but also i feel like just having more there just gives the sense that we're more professional or a bigger deal yeah. than we are yeah, yeah and the fact that you already have a dancer or a dance group in this case 
is just like, wait, who is this person? Why have I not fucking heard of them before? They they must have yeah. something going on, like shit. And it's a cool challenge too. Oh yeah, yeah. Especially when Sammy um, adds more rock into it, it's gonna be really cool. Hell yeah, yeah, I'm kind of switching from like a electro pop to kind of like an alternative pop because I feel like that's kind of where my heart lays a lot more. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, because I, I started realizing. Like like what I did with board for example, mm-hmm. like the EDM there's a lot more like space for for the music and everything and I do mm-hmm. lo- I do love that I love drops and everything but I think that I like um, being able to put more words and everything into it that's yeah. why I'm and it gives me more of a presence on stage as well mm-hmm. so the entire process is like. Like a learn as you go type of thing. Oh yeah. Like there's no written book or anything for it. Yeah. I do feel like whenever I'm on stage and everything with the um, electro pop type of stuff, like a uh, loser anthem and everything, there's a lot yes. of space of me just like staring at the crowd doing nothing. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but I'm just like, also I'll have to like be like, I want to put a dance right here. Yes. And That's that that do. fills in those empty spaces. Yeah. And I'll be like, gotcha. It brings Let's back that confidence. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Yeah. But while I'm doing it, while we're having more words and everything in the new like alternative pop type of music like board for example Mm -hmm. we'll have the dance dancers in the background as well and then i'll also be there and it's more hype that way yeah Mm -hmm. and what we'll do it's a show it's definitely a a show it's a showmanship Mm -hmm. and that's why i told sammy i was like before we even go back on stage uh, let's do it right let's we're taking this break let's do it right this is going to have props. This is going to have more showmanship. This is going to have Sammy intertwining with the dancing. Now we got a new guitarist, dancer, Are y'all do everything. Like costume changes and shit. Oh yeah, yeah. Dope. Are you going to put Doing like a thing costume. on the wall where you run behind it and change real quick? No. no. So what we're going to do? What <laughs> was cool perfect though. with the set is that um, it is sunflower suffocate. For which one? Uh, let's see, this is <laughs> um, for the set that we're doing. We have two the two um, slow songs, and then it's bloodshed. Correct. Yes, that's it's correct. Suffocate, <laughs> suffocate for the set. I think we have suffocate and then bloodshed, and then, and then board. board. Yes, it's very last. So one. during suffocate, what uh, me and Ginger were actually going to do is we already have the outfits ready, and we are going to go off stage real quick. You know, like the women's and men's bathrooms yeah. right there. Change in there real quick because we also have to add blood. We have to add the mm. the costume, and then go back on before bloodshed. Nice. So that's what we're planning out, yeah. Or we can just take the fake blood and be like... <laughs> yes. Yeah. And we it. even are doing the little details because I saw the the Slas band, they had um, the guitar picks and they had it signed and then they threw it out in the crowd. So I was just like... And in the music video, which you guys will see because it'll most likely be out by now, is um, Lamont's in it and he's holding up a Joker's card. Oh, nice. Because, you know, it's a devil with a sin. Hear him knock, let him in. Dealing <laughs> cards in the dark from the deck, let him win. Yeah. Exactly. So I was like, okay, why don't we hide the cards, do an illusion, and be like, okay, here, boom. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> just kill the mic. <laughs> that was a good boom, illusion. <laughs> <laughs> it totally looked like that mic was falling over. Hell yeah. <laughs> no, uh, I'm magical. Uh, it would be like this, holding it out. And then we would like throw it out to people. So what we're gonna do is have everybody sign it, and That's we're gonna throw sick. it. <laughs> I love Sorry, that idea. I'm just though. imagining somebody up front like vibing and all of a sudden, oh, what the fuck, <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> all these cards are in there. Like, oh! Exactly. Maybe, maybe be like afraid. Soft, soft cards. <laughs> be very afraid. And well, like they're just regular, the regular cards. But like we were thinking it would be funny because. Hopefully they will um, already also see the music video. Yeah, be like, oh my god! You know, yeah, that's cool. They have those uh, the dollar bill shooters. Mm-hmm, yeah, you could use that and just oh, put a bunch of cards amazing. in it. Just mm-hmm. Shoot that thing all around. She's gonna end up just playing with it the whole fucking that time. They'll be I'll just be like, yep. By the end of the first song, he'll be out. Yeah, dude, I would totally do that. But yeah, that's that's. That's what, because that, I want to intertwine that. Every yeah, no, it has dope. a message with that, because they'll be like, "Oh my god, <gasps> this is the card that was in the music video yeah, that yeah. Lamont held." Holy shit! Okay, cool. And, and like, there's also, thirty of them. <laughs> there's also part of like, if you don't realize it and you hold on to it and you see it later, I feel like you're like, "Oh my god, I love this." Now. Exactly. Like, that was another thing, because like I've I saw some other people. They're like, "Hey, dude," like I overheard the other person telling another bandmate, saying, "Hey, man, I still have this one pick or whatever since your last show." I was like, "We need to." 
do something yeah. that will target the audience that do come all the time and they're like, I still have this from when you yeah. like, that's amazing that that stuck. If it doesn't stick, that's fine. It's yeah. fine. It's just something that I thought that would be really interesting and cool. Granted, yes, we'll have blood and costumes and everything, but I don't want to stop there. Right, <laughs> and yeah. I, I just yeah. want them to be like, Sammy, on the street, oh, look, I have the card, blah, blah, blah. Like... Just nice. something. Yeah. I think I that'd mean, be we cool. We have like custom dead allies picks and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. You had a sticks. line of sticks that you went through already. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. But they lasted forever. Thanks yeah. to that guy. I appreciate I that. I still have oh, the yeah. pair you gave me, but yeah. yeah I see? get it. Yeah. Branding. You know, yeah. having yes. things to be memorable. And it and makes it's only going to be like four cards. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> For I, me saw, and Ginger. <laughs> I saw a video of like my chemical romance performing like in a small venue back before they were huge. And like yeah. all the comments are like, Oh dude, imagine being at that show. Imagine being at that show. Imagine exactly. being at the show. And like, there was just a bunch of comments. I was like, go see your local bands. Yeah. That's all they were. Yeah. They were a local band Thank before you. they became my chemical romance. So, exactly. Like, yeah. So why not just, why not start now? Yeah. And I mean, if you start doing stuff like that, you know, you'll blow up and then like 10 years down the road, like you're fucking huge. And someone's like, I still have a Sammy Bear card. See, thank yes. you. That's yeah. And if you know anything about the trading card industry right now is yes. popping off, is you it? could do like holographic. <laughs> oh God, not again. <laughs> Maybe eventually we can make our own cards. You can make holographic cards. Shit, and Sammy, more now valuable. we got you. <laughs> Damn it, we gotta make our own decks. Dude, there <laughs> you so go. Cool. Sammy Bear, Dance Iron Dance, Dance, Lamont's the guitar, it's Ginger's a whole the thing dancing where shoes. People are opening decks on stream because they never know when they're gonna get the big valuable card. <laughs> Fast forward to the future where they're trying to get the platinum Sammy face yes. card or yeah. whatever. Just saying. I'm just oh, giving dope. you ideas. Damn it, yeah. damn it. Yeah. Now you gotta add it. Put that to the list. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Put it to the list. I'll add that to my list. <laughs> damn. I'll get right. right on it. Higher uh, graphic design. First, first thing. <laughs> Sparkles or nothing. Yeah. Sparkles or nothing. <laughs> we'll leave it on that. Sparkles or nothing. Sparkles Here or is nothing. board. Board. Right? Yes. Board. I gotta, okay, I gotta write that. <laughs> Sparkles or nothing, y'all. Sparkles or Listen. nothing. Oh, we're doing this. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing the break first and then board. How do you kegel today? <laughs> Pretty guitar. Music. 
so sick, it's a hard life to coexist And I might just lose Gotta think quick in a world with a threat And I promise that I'm dead Fuck the motherfucking music 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 Myself.